Hello again. Once again, this is a site from Astro Department, University of Nebraska, Lincoln. Um, you can see the URL up, up top. It's in their simulation, class actions uh, simulation section. Um, if you look at it, what we do here is we're going to figure out the number of hours in daylight. And what we have down at the bottom is a calendar. So we pick the day by sliding this little bar. Um, here are the number of hours of daylight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at zero degrees latitude. I'm going to start at the equator. And very few people ever even consider this. If you live at the equator, you get 12 hours of daylight every single day of the year. Now granted, some of those locations are going to be a lot of thunderstorms, but every single day of the year. If you slide this across, whoops, sorry, you slide this across, 12 hours in May, June, July, August, September, all the way across, 12 hours, all the way across. Okay, for some reason we start uh, right there, March 21st, which of course is the, do you remember? That's the vernal equinox. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to where I'm located, uh, right around there, 38-ish. And if you take a look at it, we actually vary the number of daylight hours from a minimum in December, winter solstice, to a maximum of way up here, the summer solstice. And uh, all I have to do, is, and you notice right on the vernal equinox, we get 12 hours of daytime and 12 hours of night. But if I slide this across, um, as we get into May, days get longer. I'm up to 14.5 hours. And then all the way to June 21st, 14.7, rounding to 15 hours of daylight. 15 hours to warm up, and then back to September 23rd, where we're back to uh, 12 hours, and then December 21st, we're down to 9.3, so we had almost 15 to warm up, and we have almost 9 to cool down. That's why our summers are warmer. If we um, slide it across to, excuse me, um, let's go to the North Pole and if you take a look at it they get <laughs> uh, no sunlight there but they go from no sunlight on the 24th to 23rd to 24 hours on the 22nd so 22nd 24 hours of daylight Granted, the sun's going to be really low on the horizon, but then the next day they have zero, and they don't get to see it for six months. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you, um, I don't know, I think that's about it. Um, so you can actually play with it, play with any latitude. You can go to the southern hemisphere, and if you go to about 38 degrees below, you see that they get the very same thing we get, except on the winter solstice they get 14.7 and on the summer solstice they get 19.3. So their summers are our winters and vice versa. So spring is their fall, our spring is their fall. Um, I think that's about it, but you can have fun with this, um, doing anything you want, any day you want, and check it out. But I think the most amazing thing is that number, right? there 12 hours all the way across um, even if you go to the Tropic of Capricorn 23.5 um, you find that their temperatures are really close to 12 it dips down to 10.6 and goes up as high as 13.4 it's really close to 12 hours of daylight um, 24 hours a day. Okay, that should do it. Thank you much.